it wasn't a good idea to uh, to go over to Dubai, right? Yes, exactly, man. I had talked to her a little bit. I was like, hey, what you doing out there? She's like, she's chilling, she's trucking. And I'm like, man, you know, out there it's pretty rough, you know. I don't think you, you know, should be out there for long. If you're going to go out there for vacation, all, you know, it's cool, cool. But, you know, it, them people got a different mindset, different rules out there, you know. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. I, I can't do it. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. Fuck it. Do it live. I, I'll write it and we'll do it live. Nelson in the building. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, what's good with you? What's, what's good with you this morning? Man, just hanging out, man. I'm just hanging out, man, right now, man. I'm about to head to the um, urgent care, man. Just got in a, a rough accident the other day, man. Okay, okay. All right. So initially, uh you commented on a on a post uh of a video that was recently posted about Sassy Trucker. Unfortunately, she's uh being detained over in Dubai. There's a lot of information and then there's a lot of not information if I should put it that way. But in one of the comments, you 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 mentioned that you actually talked to Sassy and mentioned that it wasn't a good idea to uh, to go over to Dubai, right? Yes, exactly, man. I had talked to her a little bit. I was like, "Hey, what you doing out there?" She's like, "She's chilling. She's trucking." And I'm like, "Man, you know, out there it's pretty rough. You know, I don't think you you know should." be out there for long. If you're going to go out there for vacation, all, you know, it's cool, cool. But, you know, it, them people got a different mindset, different rules out there, you know. And um, she said she's good. She, she's straight. You know, she can, she's doing her thing. So I'm like, all right, just be safe out there, you know. All right. And yeah, we just left that at that. All right. So this, so this is an actual conversation that you had with her, not, not like a, not like a text session or something like that, an actual voice, the voice conversation that you had with her of you, you no, know, expressing your, your feelings about her being out there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, you know, there's stuff going around the world, you know, with girls that's going to Mexico and stuff like that and getting, you know, getting jammed up, you know, so, um, uh, you know, I've been following her on, you know, YouTube and stuff like that and um, on Snapchat. And I had just reached out to her on Snapchat. I'm like, hey, um, you know, Dubai is kind of weird, you know, just be careful out there, you know. And she was like, yeah, yeah, everything's good, everything's good. Um, you know, she's still trucking, she's still running. I'm like, yeah, you know, just be safe out there. You know, different rules, different, you know, different mindset out there. Facts. Yeah, we talked. We we had a conversation uh, early this year. Um, she been out there uh, a few times. Like like this this particular situation, you know, we just now finding out uh, what went down with her in April. Now this is like the middle of July, and we just now, you know, getting, you know, getting. The f not the full uh, spectrum of what's going on, but it's it's crazy that it's it it took two months for you know for things to come down on our side of the world. If if that makes any yeah. sense, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm I'm yeah. assuming when it went down, it was already a you know a topic of discussion, maybe. Uh, art news articles and stuff like that over there mm -hmm. but as mm -hmm. far as as far as you know we over here in the west goes you know we just now finding out that hey this young lady been hemmed up for for what since april what's this april may june july yeah, <laughs> you know july. what i'm saying she uh two two and a half months that she that she been hemmed up and we we over here is just now finding out about it. So, 
it's it's crazy because like I said, I I just spoken with her uh early this year and she was, you know, she was happy. Um you know, she was uh she was in a good space. She was excited yeah. about you know, driving and as a matter of fact, she was thinking about, you know, like literally moving over there to start a whole new life over there. So mm -hmm. Yeah, the 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 to find out now, you know, what's what's going on and everything is 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 crazy. So Nelson, man, let me ask you, uh, let me ask you this, because now that the story's out and a whole host of people is is just now talking about it. Um uh some people have some negative uh opinions of her. Uh, a few people have uh, some positive opinions of her. People that's not even familiar with her. Uh, outlets like my favorite outlets, like Pink Book uh, Lessons, she kind of like talked about it. I'm a fan of hers, but I'm not a fan of what she said about her. Because, you know, a lot of these people, you know, including myself, you know, we we really don't know sassy on a personal level but every, exactly. everybody has an opinion would how do you feel um how do you feel now that everybody is uh is is talking about this topic of situation and what, what's your thoughts on on the i'll say the negative aspect of what this young lady is receiving right now and unfortunately, unfortunately, man, it's it's a sad story. It's a sad story. Um, she has to go through what she's going through right now. And um, people are always gonna say negative things, and people are always gonna judge people, you know, in a way that um, that they think you are, you know. So really, don't have much, you know, to say about that, but. Um, yeah, people people would just be judging people wrong, you know. Like I said, I I'd be watching her on YouTube and Instagram and stuff like that. And she seemed like she was having a good time over there in um in Dubai, you know. So yeah, man. It's 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 sad how people judge people, like, you know, with my situation that's going on too, you know, um this driver judge me. And um yeah, man, he he ran into me, man. It's, well, let's uh, talk about sure. that. Let's 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 talk about that. Uh, first, uh, let's hope for a uh, safe return uh, for Sassy Trucker. Uh, hopefully, everything will work out uh, in her behalf. So, Nelson, man, uh, so you you had an issue uh, of sorts. Uh, you sent me the video. Uh, or at least, uh, well, you you said in the in the back room that you was you was hit two times. Uh, yes, sir. Was yeah. it by the Was it by the same driver or was it by the uh, by two different drivers? Because the video, well, I'll I'll give you my thoughts on the video in a minute. Hi, um, my name is Peter Parker, and I. Like a coffee, please. Okay, no problem, Peter Parker. Yeah, about the same, about um, the same driver, the same driver. Um, you know, um, who was coming up to who was I, I, I was actually in California, was going up a hill, you know, and um, the driver was in the slow lane, and um, he was coming up to a truck, and I was in the middle lane, about to pass him, and I'm heavy as well, so. Um, if you know, if you heavy, you know, you can't, even if, when you have the foot to the ground, you know, you still got to have, you you know, you, that mid, mid that momentum got to, you know, got to gain for you to try to pass that, that truck, you know, so, um, so, and then this car is passing me in the hammer lane, so I'm trying to pass this truck, and I'm in the middle lane, and um, the truck, the truck is weaving in and out, in and out, um, in his lane. 
and he didn't even have his signal on. That's that, that's the craziest thing. He didn't even have his signal on. So I'm like flashing him, like telling him, like you know, hold on, hold on. He's like cars pass me. You know, I can't just switch over. You know, if I had switched over, I would have, I would have, you know, probably killed somebody. You know, in the in, that's coming in the hammer lane. So um, the guy, the guy just switched over, like no signal, no nothing. He just switched over and just full blown hit me. And um, when he hit me, I pulled over. He pulled over, and I'm like, "Yo, man, like, what's going on? Why you hit me?" And then he started throwing racial slurs, um, f bombs, or oh, you know, and this and that, m m f you know, I'm like, yo, what's going on? Like, like, do you know me? <laughs> so that's the, you know, that's the craziest thing. Like, I don't you from a can of paint and you throw an F bomb, you Nick, you know, and this and that, you know, N word, you know, like, what's wrong with you? And um so I got out the truck, I'm like, go confront the guy and see what's going on with the guy. Like, are you on a medical condition or did you take your meds? <laughs> You know, so it's like and the guy started, you know, wanted to fight with me, put out a knife on me. And, um, yeah, man, it's crazy, man. And when he put out the knife on me, I ran back in my truck and he called 911, told 911 this guy put a knife on me. He jumped back in his truck and took off. And, um, and, um, I followed him. I followed him because I didn't have no information of this guy. I didn't have no pictures, no no truck number, no nothing. So I followed this guy. Um, I followed him, got to the California border, and um, trying to get around him to to get to the gate um, so I can go to the BHP Highway Patrol um, to stop this guy. This guy just hit me. So while I was trying to get around this guy, this guy. Um, he would not let me get around him. He brake checked me a couple of times. Um, and finally, when I'm about to pass him, this guy just swung his trailer over and just messed up, messed me up, man. He messed up my truck. Um, he broke my hub. Um, yeah, man, the truck started rocking very hard. I thought I was going to flip. That's how bad he hit me, um, you know. And yeah, man. Um, and I guess, man, like I said, man, people judge people wrong, and and they just let this guy go. Uh, remind you, this guy's a white guy, and I'm a black guy. So um, yeah, man, they just let this guy go. I, you know, you would you would think that they would charge this guy for basically assault, assaulting me with a deadly weapon, you know. And no, that wasn't the case. And you know, vice versa. I feel like if if that would if that had happened, vice versa. If I had did that to him, I would have been you know in jail right now in California somewhere. You know. Wow, that's uh, whoo, that's crazy trucker rage <laughs> in California. <laughs> uh, Nelson, man. I, I, you know, intriguing story. It's just unfortunate that uh, that that this happened to you. But my 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 question, you know, now that you explain what you know what happened, uh, let me just ask you this because you you did send me the video and I you know I did you know look at a little bit of it from what it from what it was. Um, it does show you in a you know in a in in the center lane uh of course the you know the hammer lane right there was you know a couple of cars came past and and the uh and the other truck was was in the snow lane and and i i've been in those situations before we call it the turtle race you know what i'm saying both of y'all, <laughs> you know, he's probably might be doing 65 or something like that. You being a little bit more heavier, you're trying to, you're trying to inch, inch, inch your way uh, past him. But it seems as though you're not getting that momentum you need to, you know, to to get past him. So you 
kind of side riding him on, you know, at the at the edge of his trailer. Uh, my question mm-hmm. to you, bro, is, uh, you know, uh, you said it was cars in a in the hammer lane, so you wasn't able to, you know, get over in the hammer lane, you know, so that I guess the driver in the slow lane could get over. But why you just didn't slow down, uh, reset? and then try again? Uh, the only reason why I didn't do that, because, uh, like I said, we we was going up a hill, and there was a bunch of trucks behind us, but especially behind me, and trying to pass um, traffic. Um, there was a truck behind him as well. And um, so, yeah, I was trying to pass them, and if I had slowed down, I would have basically slowed down every traffic that's behind me. And if I had got over, I would have potentially hit somebody that's in the hammer lane. So what he should have did is basically kept the same minimum as the same guy that was in front of him. So I can pass him. But he was so in a rush, um, he just got over and hit me. All right. Um Okay. Oh, okay. I I get you. I I I get what you're saying, bro. I I really do. I I I get what you're saying. The the was. Let me ask you this: the 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 the, the driver that was in the slow lane was was the lane coming to an end for him? No. Okay. No, the lane it was not coming to an end. No. Okay, so the lane wasn't coming to it wasn't coming to an end for him. So, uh, actuality, he didn't really have a reason to get over in the middle lane, with with maybe the exception of try to let the well try to let the floor of traffic behind him go. But same thing in your situation uh you drink the coffee it'll make you feel better you're in this you're in the middle lane yeah of course you got a, a a whole line of traffic behind you uh again i you know I, i'm with you on this you know if you of course you would have slowed down you would have slowed down the the, the floor of traffic but i mean if you just would have did that uh in any case, I mean, it, it doesn't matter, you know, if you slow down the traffic or not. You know, you could have just slowed down, you know, got back over in the right lane for a little bit, let that floor of traffic go. And then once you have your opening, you come back over and, you know, try to reset and do it again. Um, now for the driver that actually hit you, uh, if if the lane wasn't wasn't ending, then yeah, I, I you know I I feel that there wasn't no real no real reason for him to get over in the middle in the middle lane. You know, again, like I said, it's probably because he wanted to let the floor of traffic go or whatever. But I don't understand why you you're in a slow lane, so. If the floor of traffic want to go, they should, you know, go around you. But the problem is you in the in the in the middle lane kind of holding that holding up that floor of traffic as well. Um, so you he hits you, both of y'all pull over. Um of course, you know, to get the information and all like that, but you said the driver uh got out all irate um you got out of the truck you say he pulled a knife on you but let me ask you this if, yeah. i mean if you if if you saw the driver irate what was the reason of you actually getting out of the truck if you kind of if you kind of saw a situation that was about to boil you know um when I seen him um, throwing f bombs at me and cursing me out, you know, um, 
as a man I am, that I want to go confront the guy to see, like, yo, what's your problem? Like, like, like man to man, talk to me. Like, what, what, what's going on with you? Like, why are you doing all this? Why did you even hit me in the first place when you could have just stayed in your lane, slow down, and I would have passed you and everybody else would have passed you, you know? But he seen that I'm a black guy and he feel like, oh, I'm a threat. Like, everybody always think people, black guys, are a threat to them. And um, and the guy just pulled out a knife out on me, you know? The... the it, it's not like it's not like oh I was gonna fight him because it wasn't really like it wasn't really I it, it wasn't like I hit you you hit me so I wasn't really I wasn't really bored I wasn't really like mad you know out of sense like I wasn't really mad like that because you're the one that hit me you know I can understand like vice versa if I had hit you you know and then you was you were, you know, pissed, you know, same thing. Like I said, like I was pissed, but I wasn't like, like, you know, pissed because I know we have insurance, you know, we live in a world that have insurance and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I know we could, I, we could have handled that with insurance. But when he seen that I'm yelling back at him and he's calling me N words and racial profiling me, and he pulled out a knife on me. And yeah. All right. So let's it, talk about the knife part. Uh, when he pulled the knife on you, did he did he use it? Because you did mention something about before we started talking. You did mention that you was at the at urgent care. So did, did he use the knife on you, or how did you end up in urgent care? Um, um, from from the accident when he hit me, he hit me pretty hard. Oh, the hard. second, the second time. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. 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 So I'm I'm a little bit of a head uh a head of a, uh the situation. All right. So he pulled out the knife. Uh, I guess you went back to the truck to call the police. He jumps in the truck and get ready to take off without leaving any type of information uh, uh, about the situation, but you, you decided to follow him or, or give chase uh, to get the information so you could pass it off to your, uh, your company. But in, in the midst of all of that, uh, he swerved, I, I guess he swerved at you, forced you off the road, and you, uh, you know, you injured yourself in the uh, accident. Now, was he, st- exactly. now, was he still there after the police came, or was he gone when the police came? He was, st- he was still there. He was still there when the police came. All right, so, the, so now the cops is on the scene. What was the what what was the what was the conversation or what was going on with the uh, with the cops being on the scene? Because you did mention that you know he didn't get arrested. I I don't think he probably would because he probably just passed you know passed the information over for the insurance situation. But what was the you know what was what was going on between you and the and the cops when they was there? Um, I mean, he completely lied. He completely lied. He told the cop that I cut him off. And, uh, I did this. I did that. When uh, when everything is on the video, <laughs> and um, when I showed the cop the situation, what happened, and um, the cops they they did their thing, um, uh, sort of, um, and um. Yeah, I feel like the cops they should have they should have pressed them a little more instead of pressing me. And that's why I feel like this is like a whole 
uh, racism thing because um, the cops was like mostly talking to me instead of talking to the guy that caused the accident, you know. Well, that's uh, it's crazy. Uh, was the damage to your truck significant enough that you couldn't drive, or you was able to drive your drive your truck uh, after the accident? Yeah. yeah, I had to call. I had called my company and let the company know they broke. He broke my uh, my hub steel on my steer, um, and he had broke my um, headlight. Um, I had to call roadside for them to come and change all that. And, um, uh, same day, I had to run to Love and do a alignment and stuff on my truck. Yeah, it was it was pretty bad, man. It was, it was pretty bad. He he definitely he definitely took a big chunk out of my truck. So, do you have this uh, driver's information? I'm sure the cops had to. You know, pass the information off to you know both on both sides. So, are you able to get the driver's information, company information, DOT number, all that good stuff, so that your company could uh, send that out, uh, so they can so they can get reimbursed or get rectified? Unfortunately, um, the cop told me he can't provide no information. Um, he has. To, um, I would have to get all that information off, like the police report and stuff like that. Um, yeah, man. Wait, it, you, wait, 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 wait. You wait. You say the cop couldn't provide you the name of the of the company or anything like that? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, yeah. I mean, I got the company company information off his off his truck, of course, but. Um, insurance of the company and stuff like that yeah the cops say yeah he can't he can't provide that information um <laughs> yeah man <laughs> so your so so you gave your company the report number and then your company got a got to call the, the the police department for the crash report and all other information that they got from that driver concerning the concerning the accident exactly yep all right yep. so let me revert back uh uh to the initial stop between you and the guy and the, the first initial stop uh he got back in his truck and he started to start to leave and pull away uh why did you uh well, let me let me put this in preference. Um, if you was an owner operator, I could probably understand. I can understand that if you was an owner operator. But you're you're a company driver. Why did you you know put your uh, I guess your well being uh, in harm's way to just go and chase this driver down if you are if if you you know got you know, maybe the trailer number or something like that. You say you, it was on video anyway. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So. You know, this is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. I've had I can't tell you how many cups of coffee in my life and this this is one of the best. Why did you uh why why did you why did you give chase to the guy? Why 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 put your well being in harm's way, bro? I mean you you got the video. You know, you could just you could have just passed the video over to your you know, to your company and I'm sure they would have been able to get the information off the video to you know the the you know the use what they need to, you know, get rectified for the first incident. Why put your why put yourself in a situation, you know, that that you did? You know, because um because I'm a I'm an independent contractor working for the company that I'm working for right now. It's not like I'm I was like a W two. So it's like um I didn't I didn't know that um, I I had a video 
at first, you know. Um, so I followed him so I can, you know, start taking pictures of his truck and this, that, and the third, you know. Um, I was in shock that he hit me because you wouldn't, I've been driving for for two years now, and um, I never had anything like that happen to me. If I'm passing somebody, the person is just going to let me pass them, you know. And um, that's why that's why I you can say that I followed him, and so I can get information for, off his truck, you know. And um, and yeah, and he he basically was not having that. Like he did not want me to get around him. And like I said, the reason why I was gonna I'm getting around him is for me to. Um, stop and and let the police know that this guy just hit me and then he basically hit and run you know got you got you got you well nelson man i'm glad everything uh you know i'm i'm glad you're all right uh i'm glad nothing you know nothing too serious uh happened out of the situation uh you know you're two years in you're still learning and everything speaking of learning i mean with well, everything that just happened uh that just happened to you uh what, what what's your takeaway from it um definitely um i have no comment on that i have no comment <laughs> that's <laughs> that's cool that's cool um all right man well like i said you know the you know the best all the way around uh again i do appreciate you coming on sharing your story and everything uh as far as sassy trucker goes uh we we still wish for the best for uh everything um you know everything she went through you know is kind of traumatizing so hopefully uh we you know she's in a better state I mean, better space. And as far as you go, man, uh, you know, this situation that happened to you, you know, I'm sure it taught you, uh, you know, taught you a little bit. Um, and of course, you know, whatever takeaway that you take away from it. And uh, again, man, I really appreciate you coming on the channel and uh, chopping it up with me. For sure, for sure, sir. Appreciate it. Appreciate everything that you do. Big G's got it locked. Boy. Won't you let me all night? Yeah, take me